Hello, today we are going to learn how to play the game Ocean Raiders. This is another math game from this table of logic roots. This game is for the students of grade 1 and above. This game covers 8 core math skills including number sequencing, number recognition and addition of 1 and 2 digit numbers with and without carry. Up to 4 players can play this game and the person who reaches the treasure first will be the winner. This game comes with a game board, 4 diver coins, 4 write and wipe slates, 4 sketch pens and a rule book. This game also comes with a unique 10 face dice which has numbers from 0 to 9. Before the start of the gameplay, each player will get 1 diver coin, 1 logic slate and a sketch pen. To start the gameplay, place all your diver coins at the start. The player with the red diver coin will make the first move by rolling the dice. Now the red diver rolled a 4. Move your diver coin to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. You will notice that the numbers are not in a serial order. So first you will have to find 4 and place your coin there. Now the person sitting next in the clockwise direction will take the next move. When all the players have played their first move, now it comes to the red diver again to roll the dice. Now where do you go from here? Do you go to 5? No. You add the number on the dice to your current position to find your new position. So here you add 4 to 5 and go to 9. Find 9. In this move, you use two math skills. You did addition of one digit number to one digit number and number recognition. When you play the game, observe that kids will not add just in their own turns, but also when other kids are playing, just to check that the other players are not cheating. That is the power of the game. Unlike homework, when you barely finish your own, the game has been designed in such a way that kids practice up to 60 addition problems in one gameplay. That is 15 times more addition practice than in class or in homework. Now we all have that one friend who is just too lazy to calculate. So if he makes a wrong move, for example, he was initially on 18 and he got 6 and he goes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20 instead of 24, then he will go back to the start. So this is a first rule. Whenever a player makes a wrong move, he goes back to the start. To help the players move ahead, this game comes with write and wipe logic slates. You could write your current position, the number on the dice and add them to find your new position without making a mistake. And with a damp cloth, you can easily wipe the slate clean. Now how can we forget about that one friend who speaks in everyone else's turn? Well, if she does that in this game, then she will have to miss her next turn. This is the second rule of the game. Whenever a player speaks in someone else's turn, she will have to miss her next turn. Notice the red and yellow whirlpools with arrows on them. Well, the yellow whirlpool with the arrow pointing downwards will take you close to the treasure. But the red whirlpool with the arrow pointing upwards will whisk you away from the treasure. In the end, I would like to leave you with three tips. Focus on accuracy, not speed. Early on, encourage the kids to be correct rather than fast. For more accuracy, motivate them to use logic slates. Follow the two rules. The two rules are designed to increase fun and math practice many fold. Follow them 
religiously. Play more. As they play more, not only will they get comfortable with numbers, but more importantly, they will start enjoying math. Happy gaming!